my little gravy boats. We're doing some building today, so uh, let's go. Well, I just realized that when I recorded for this episode that my mic was not connected in OBS for some reason. But I fixed it, so now we're going to go over what happened. <laughs> Recap! So for today's episode, we're going to be extending our sheep house. Because yeah, as you can see in there, there's tons of sheep. And I'm thinking that we're going to fill this little pond area in right here and leave like a two block gap or so between the sheep and the cows. So we'll probably bring it out to about here just so that they have enough room to wander around and stuff like that because prepare your ear holes because this is going to get kind of loud. If you come in here and you come to the back corner, they've been like piling up in the corners here and over here and I think maybe sometimes they bunch up in like pretty much all of the corners that they're able to get in but mainly these back two so we want to try and extend this out so that they don't do that because when they pile up like that they've been dying and like suffocating so I mean we got lots of button from it but hey we need these sheep to stock the shop. The other thing that I was saying that we need to work on is this monstrosity of a house in which we are going to place all of our heads that we're collecting this season. I'm going to dismantle that whole section right there and we're going to move all the heads in here once this build is done. So I was saying that I don't want to have everything to be all spruce because I think it's just too much. So instead, we've gone ahead and replaced the one side with some dark oak here. And I think it might work out better because it also matches the spruce logs that we have right here. So I'm thinking that's going to be better, hopefully. I'm in the process of getting the wood collected and stuff to make this side the dark oak instead so that we can see a bit better what it'll look like. And then I'm not sure how else I'm going to deal with this exactly because I've just, I don't know. I can't seem to figure out how I want to do this. I'm blanking for some reason on this build, which is interesting for me because I usually just am flowing with the inspirations. <laughs> but I went ahead and put some holes here in the walls all the way around just to add a little bit more texture and stuff. And of course we're going to be adding, whoa. We're going to be adding all of our leaves and stuff like we always do, just because I'm just a big fan of the overgrown look. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know if you feel like it. <laughs> but yeah, I just really love the overgrown look, so we're going to add some of that stuff. I keep falling. We're going to leave this tree. And the other thing that I was talking about was this back thing, the back part of the roof, which I had pillared up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to show you guys what I'm talking about. It's a very, very weird shape. Being like the shape of the building that we've got going on. And this side, I tried to mimic the roof shape as best I could with this side. But it's a bit less wide. It's narrower than the front. So this is what we've got going on in the back. It looks super weird to me. And I'm sure to everybody else as well. <laughs> But I guess the good thing is you're not really going to see the back and we can always cover it with leaves, truthfully, to make it, I don't know, camouflage a bit better. And obviously this won't be here. That's just to show the front. <laughs> but yeah, it just, it looks really weird because the copper part here just stops abruptly and then goes into just straight wood. But it'd look really weird if we put copper stuff here. So I don't want to do that. I don't know, I'm thinking if we end up liking what the build looks like after we replace all of the roof with the dark oak, then we'll just slap leaves all over the back here and just make it super overgrown in the back. And it makes me kind of sad, I mean, other than the fact that I really like the overgrown look, it makes me a bit sad that this part isn't going to look the best. So if you guys have any ideas on how to fix this, I can actually go ahead... We're going to do this instead to show you guys. Because, like, look at that, it looks so... That looks so weird. And I, I don't know. I thought about extending this top part out a bit. But then it won't meet up with this because it's shorter. Although, I could extend this out and then make like that same shape here that we've got in the front. So that it would match up with the top part, I think. 
like this top section that we've got going on right here. It'll be a bit shorter in the back, but I might play around with it and see if I like how that looks. That way this is extended out a bit and it doesn't look as weird because I just I really don't like that. It just cuts off in a weird way. Yeah, I think I'm going to fix that. Or at least try to anyway. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and get all the wood and stuff that we need for... Ooh, for uh, finishing off this section of the roof. And then we'll check it out and see if it's something that we want to go for. And yeah, if it is, then we'll go ahead and we'll just swap out the rest of it. And then hopefully get this build done this episode. So yeah, I will go ahead and do the other side of the roof, and I will bring you guys back in for an update. Okay guys, I hope you liked that time lapse. We've got the roof done now, and I'm thinking that I really like this. It, I think it looks a lot better. We're just going to go into spectator real quick, I think, and check it out. We're obviously far from finished, but I'm definitely liking this a lot better now. For sure. Oh yeah, I think this is good. I think we did it <laughs> finally so for this I'm thinking I might hmm, I'm, I'm thinking I might have to do the same as over there probably like this block right here I'm gonna have to bring the slabs over and then we will fill the rest of this in with the spruce and do the holes like we have it on the front side like this but yeah, I'm super happy with this now. I think it's looking a lot better. I still think it's a work in progress, but we're taking steps in the right direction finally. And I could not be happier about it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go make some dark oak slabs. And I'm thinking spruce. Hmm. What should I do for the ceiling? I didn't get that far, actually. Maybe dark oak for the floor, spruce for the ceiling? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay guys, I got all of the slabs and stuff that we're going to need for the floor and the roof, plus some more spruce planks to turn into uh, the slabs. But I decided that I don't really like that copper thing that we had going on up here. So we're gonna try 
a few different options to see what we like the best. So I got rid of that and I'm thinking possibly just leaving it out. But the only thing is I want to do like glass or something up in this section, possibly. Um, unless we decide to take this all the way up, but I don't think I really want to do that. I think it'll be a bit too much of this. This is the other thing that's kind of throwing me off. I don't know how to make this look a bit better, other than the fact that we're going to cover it in leaves later. <laughs> leaves. Cover up your mistakes. <laughs> Go ahead and try with the dark oak slabs. Yeah, let's try this and we'll see what this looks like. Boop. I don't know. It's just, it's really throwing me off with this as well. It's like it's too much copper, possibly. Okay. I think that looks better. I think the spruce would pretty much just blend in since that's what the walls are made of. So maybe we'll keep it this way. You guys let me know what you think about it. Because I'm very indecisive with this build for some reason. I think it's just the copper blocks that are throwing me off. I'm not used to building with anything other than, I don't know, like wood and regular stone blocks and things like that. So I think we might leave it this way for now. We're going to do the dark oak for the floor and then the spruce for the ceiling. Yes? What do we think of this? Mm, I, I like it. I think that looks okay. We'll have to have other decorational stuff in here besides just the heads, I think, though, because it'll it's just going to look a bit too plain. So I have to figure something out for that. If you guys have any suggestions for that stuff as well, please let me know. I appreciate suggestions of any kind. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish filling in the floor and possibly the roof as well, and then whenever I get it done, I will bring you guys back in for the big reveal. Okay, guys, I got the floor and the ceiling done, so we'll take a look at that. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. I haven't decided yet if I want to add a ladder to go up to the top section. I think I'm just going to leave it for now. And then if we end up running out of room or something for all of the heads, then we can always expand up to that second floor. I moved all of the heads into these shulker boxes. There are three plus six more. And then these are the materials that I'm thinking I might want to try to use to decorate the inside here. So we've got some soul lanterns, regular ones, some chains, some warped stuff, and then some dark oak leaves. But I'm actually not going to do that in this video because I am streaming tomorrow morning around 9 a.m. EST. So if you guys would like to join over there and watch me decorate the inside here and place all of the heads and whatnot, then feel free. This is the name of my Twitch channel. But for now, we're going to go ahead and expand this sheep house. All right, so I'm going to have to get some more deep slate because I don't have any more. We pretty much used all of the deep slate that we had for our nether base. So here we are mining it with an iron pickaxe because for some reason I can't find my other one. The netherite one that I have on me has silk touch and I don't want this. I want the cobbled stuff. So we're painstakingly mining with an iron pickaxe <laughs> and I really hate how difficult it is to get this stuff. Like it just takes forever. But at the same time, I guess if you think about where it generates, like being so low, it kind of makes sense because I guess pressure or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just babbling nonsense at this point. But yeah, we're using this for the bottom foundation, and I think that should be enough. So we're going to head back up. If I can find... Yeah, over here. So we're going to head back up and put this down. But yeah, we've got this stuff for the foundation, and I think spruce is just the main block that I'm using for walls, apparently. So... We're going to do that and then seeing as how we have to extend it we're also going to have to mess around with the roof and it'll give me an opportunity to make it look a bit better i just kind of slapped it together to get all of the sheep in and get them bred up and whatnot so that i could start stocking up for when the shopping district opened and if you hear any sounds that it sounds like banging or construction-y kind of things james is in the basement doing things <laughs> so please don't mind that uh but yeah i'm going to get this stuff and we're going to just extend it out like this i want to get it done not there i want to get it done this way first 
just extend it out and at least get the walls built up and then we can worry about the roof a little bit later so that whenever I destroy this middle bit, the sheep don't go exploding out everywhere. See, there's sheep in the wall, stupid sheep. And then here we're gonna keep the logs like this. Hello. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is going to be enough for the sheep. I think it should be. There are a lot of sheep in there, but if we just extend it out just that much, I think it'll make a big difference. Well, at least I hope. <laughs> and of course I was an umpty and didn't replant the spruce trees, so there's only one left. And uh, I turned all of the spruce that I had into stairs and used it over there. So we're going to have to wait for some stairs some stairs to grow yep we gotta wait for those so we're just gonna plant a bunch of these and wait for them to grow we're gonna go ahead and get this sheep house extended and then i'll bring you guys back in for when we unleash all of the sheepers all right y'all prepare your holes once again because we're doing this thing but i think we'll do this this way come out here and get rid of this deep slate first because it takes forever to mine Okay, I think I'll be good to get rid of all of these. Oh, well, I'm going to lose the signs, but that's okay. Come on, sheepers. Be free. They are still acting like they're stuck. Come on. You got so much more room. We also have to get rid of this fence as well. I left this part here because this is where the cyan sheep were. And I wanted to breed up a few more because I just didn't have as many. All right, well, we have this extended now, so that's awesome. And then we will get the roof situated here at some point. But I think I'm going to end this here for now. And then in the next one, we'll get the roof situation situated. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please gently demolish the like button. Gently is important. And if you would like as well, please subscribe and become a little gravy boat. But yeah, thank you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bruh. Plus we've got to do the overgrownage. Overgrownage. That is the weirdest word I think I've ever said in my entire life. But we're gonna go with it. <laughs>